Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Checking, but I'm pretty sure he's a keeper. Number one. Welcome back to the channel. We, uh, we're out on Rough River Lake practicing for a tournament that we've got next weekend. And we're just experimenting today. We're really trying to eliminate water. We kind of have something that's working for us, um, but we're trying to eliminate some water. So we're running kind of the back ends. It's early September. There's a lot of bait back here. The fish are making that move um, to an extent. What I want to talk to you about today is have you ever been, and I'm sure you, if you're a bass fisherman, you have. You're fishing your favorite stretch of bank or your most productive stretch of bank with your favorite lure, whatever that might be, and it's just not happening. More times than not, you are not fishing the conditions properly. And what I mean by fish the conditions is, is the weather. You know, today we've got overcast, so um, that typically lends to a moving bait, you know, type deal top water, spinner bait, you know, crank bait, you don't normally have to slow down as much. Whereas if you get those high bluebird skies, clear days, real sunny, a lot of times those fish will position in the shade and you, it takes slowing down to catch them. So um, today we're running the, the back ends of these pockets, catching us a few fish here or there, really looking for the needle in the haystack, so to speak. But pay attention to that guys, fish the conditions, watch your pressures, watch your barometric pressure. You know, if that barometric pressure starts to dip, you know, typically that means you can catch fish on a moving bait. Um, cloud cover, wind, really, really pay attention to those things. Those are things that typically help fish bite, especially in cleaner water. You know, we're, we're wanting to cover water today. Take what the day gives you. You hear pros say it all the time. Take what the day gives you. And the more and more time I spend on the water, I'm starting to see that, that the more that you can be flexible with how you catch your fish really makes a difference at the end of the day on putting a few extra fish in the boat especially you know in a tournament situation we're going to keep going on down the bank here it's looking good back here 
um, you know, we ran the back end of some smaller pockets and now we're going all the way up a bigger creek. So um, hang with us guys. We'll see if we can catch a couple, see what happens. The other thing to keep in mind guys too is watch your seasonal patterns. I mean, if it's the time of year where fish should be, you know, moving back or, or fish should be moving out, put together your best possibilities, your best opportunities, I should say, based on seasonal patterns and the, the conditions for the day. And you'll put more fish in the boat, I promise you. the conditions you know we the sun started coming out and these fish have started to relate more to wood they're getting tighter to the wood getting more more and more bites by doing so Okay, guys you want to fish the conditions I, I know I've drilled that in everybody's head here but um, you've got to make those little changes throughout the day because the fish do so you better thanks for watching we appreciate it as always like comment and subscribe we'll see you on the water we out see you